Hey traders, my name is Jonathan Rose. Today, I'm gonna to show you my favorite opportunity in the stock market right now. Now every week, Sunday evenings, I share my favorite trades with my members. I always share eight to 12 trades and then on Monday we get together for a live class. I'd like to invite you to join me for a free week. I'll leave the link on the screen. Just go to that URL, join us, see if it's a good fit for you. Here's the trade and I am just baffled by this and I would love if you would leave a comment letting me know what you think about this trade. Is it a good opportunity? Is the market price wrong? Am I missing something? Because I don't get it. I shared this trade idea with the members this Monday and the trade was in Dell. Let's get long Dell because I just think it's priced incorrectly and here's why. Dell recently came public again in the middle of December. Dell, as many of you might know or might not know, they own 80% of a company called VMware. In front of you, I have Dell on the left right here. I have VMware on the right. Here's what I want you to see. Look at the market cap right here. Dell, 35 billion in market cap. VMware, 61 billion in market cap. Dell owns VMware. Dell owns 80% of VMware. Now, please, I encourage you to research this stock and not just listen to this video. Let this video guide you and then take it further if you can. But Dell, to return to the stock market five years after the buyout, Dell, 81% ownership in VMware. Pretty straightforward. There's a lot of reasons of why this major discount. Before Dell came public, they had a tracking stock called DVMT. That tracking stock represented 80% of VMware's value. It did always trade at a discount, but now that Dell is public, should the discount really be this pronounced? What's 80% of VMware's market cap? Well, let's take 12 away from that. Let's call that 48, 48 billion. So Dell, without even counting Dell, should have 48 billion in market cap just because of their ownership in VMware. Maybe Dell's not worth a lot, but even if it's worth 48 billion, the stock should be trading, I don't know, 65, 70? I am so bullish, Dell. I think the stock market just has this wrong. Oftentimes we'll see this, it's a new IPO. There was a change in structure in the deal between VMware and Dell and Dell coming public. And plus in January, the stock market got hit. So many could have overseen this big price imbalance. Right now, without a doubt, this is my favorite trade. I'd love to hear your opinion. To close, many of my clients come to me dependent on technical analysis. They only use technical analysis. They only use indicators to find trades. What I wanna do is teach and encourage traders to do some research. Find some different ideas. There's 3,600 public companies. We can't just rely on technical analysis. If you're just looking for a consolidation breakout or a head and shoulders or a triangle or a double bottom or whatever, there are a dime a dozen, guys. You can find them all over the place. What you can find is a company like Dell that owns 80% of another company that's valued at 60 billion when Dell's just valued at 36 billion. Once you find an idea like that, use your technical analysis skills to find long areas, places of support where you can buy Dell, get long Dell for yourself because that trade makes a ton of sense. If technical analysis in Dell tells you that the stock's going down, I would ignore that technical analysis and lean on the hardcore objective fact that Dell owns 80% of VMware and VMware is a $62 billion company you'll be far better off in the long run. Hope that makes sense. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts. One more time, my name is Jonathan Rose, owner of Active Day Trader. Thanks, guys.